in Happy New Year, doing a little more Age of Conan gameplay. So last time I entered uh, the night mode in Tortage, and now I'm just completing that quest with Chromalic, Chromalico, Chromalico, Chromalico. Uh, so we'll go with uh, this one. So I'm just going to skip through this, I get the general idea. So, um, yeah. Okay, shut up, buddy. Goodbye. Uh, there's some, uh, woman. <coughs> some woman in a volcano. She's a sorceress. And she's going to help teach me demonology. But she's also a bad guy. Actually... Like I've never played this um, this night mode, so I have no frigging clue where anything is. Uh, where is this? That's outside. But yeah, I've never played this night mode. I have no idea where this goes. Um, this could take forever and be worthless. I have no idea. Uh, so yeah, as you can see. Uh, my graphical resolution and whatnot, a little bit better this time around than last time. Uh, the graphic card that I was running uh, didn't have the power source to support it, and because of that I was always forced to play these games in low graphics or else risk burning out my graphics card, or my power supply I should say. So yeah, new power supply is in for Christmas, and so I can run on high definition stuff. Um, yeah, and You can probably see things that are like, pretty common to this the fact that the game itself, Age of Conan, <coughs> is uh, graphically a little bit better than the Old Republic. So there we got this ability, I don't really know what that does, but we'll use it. Hopefully it's high damage. And I still use these lame spells. And quite a bit of lag here. Uh, I have to use a lot of these lame spells because I'm going to get interrupted until I get some ability. That will stop me from getting interrupted. So this one's a powerful single target with no dot, and this one leaves a dot. It's slightly more powerful. So normally you'd want to start with the fire one, then use the spam the storm strike one. But from what I'm gathering, and yeah, um, but unfortunately, because the interrupts, I'm better off using the longer cast first. Alright, Captain of Acheron. Just because like, that crit was huge. Crush. Alright, so yeah, I was informed over the holidays that a lot of the basic stuff of the game is still in there. It's just not as paramount. Like, you can still gain an advantage uh, with how you punch people in one directions. And that's based on like the way that the enemy is blocking or their stance or positioning. So, yeah, the game still has some pretty good core fighting mechanics. It's just they've dumbed down it quite a bit for a pretty casual audience. So, entering this fortress place. What do you have here? Suppressed. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Uh, it was really shitty to lose that. Come on, fires Gahana. Oh no, the servers are lagging. So let's wave a flame this guy and then hellfire stream. 
I really hate playing this class. This class is stupid early on. Like, all you do is get owned by everybody. So, plead apprenticeship with... Oh, I don't want to go up there. There's so many dudes up there. I'm on level 7. Alright. Open with this. I think I just always have to get the opener or else I'm screwed. Wow, that didn't do any damage to him at all. Okay. Doing that attack, and that attack. Just gonna cycle through these two moves. Because all my other moves suck and I get interrupted. Like, and unfortunately, I can't just grab a tank or something and make this all easier for myself and demonstrate a lot of the cooler stuff about the game. <coughs> because, um, yeah. Just fucking die. Jesus Christ. Alright. Yeah, I can't do that because this is single player mode, and in single player mode, you're supposed to suffer it out. And I don't really have any food. Is this food? Sure. But I'm already full. Okay. So the item shop's actually been closed, and you haven't been able to purchase a lot of stuff. A lot of the premium services have been turned off. Um, I don't know why. I'm sure it's something to do with the holidays. So, yeah. Pretty poor launch for a, a free to play MO, had their item shop closed, or maybe it was just for balance sake, I don't know. Uh, the game is still very much PvP oriented. Uh, the end game adopted a lot of subscription players. That was apparently a boss. Uh, it adopted a lot of subscription players, and subscription players you know, play this game for its PvP. Which is, you know, pretty damn good. Like most games with PvP have oh it's it's a caster, this is good. Let me look at the storm strike him. <coughs> yeah, most games with uh, PvP it's pretty imbalanced, pretty bad, and it's dumbed down for casual audience. What do you have here? Oh, come on now. You're a caster, you should be using the same my inventory spell. Oh yeah. Without paying, you get a really crappy inventory. <coughs> but yeah, uh, usually games dumb down PvP pretty bad. Uh, like from what I'm gathering from my buds who are playing the old public, um, it's kind of like a you know just a dumb down MMO. It's pretty easy to play. I played it in beta, but obviously the lives can be slightly different. So, just progressing my way through this little uh, dungeon here. Where I'm looking to meet Mithrael after I kill all of her minions. A little bit of plot hole, I guess. You kill all her minions, and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, come join me. Uh, I gotta delete stuff in order to pick up stuff. I suppose I'll sell this stuff. I thought it, like,. Doesn't this make it look like you have a bigger inventory than you did? You do? Like, I would actually have sold stuff before I started, but didn't really know. <coughs> and I guess this is like really what endgame PvP is gonna look like. People just interrupting you like crazy, and you're casting these crap small spells on them. Until you get a tank to peel off you, and then something something happens. So there's a red thing here, and that leads in here, and then there's a thing here, and nothing seems to happen from here. Alright. Not liking how none of these doors are openable. No, I'm really liking how I'm getting some leg. Like, this looks like something you should be able to click on, but it's not. So, red thing goes up there, does nothing at all of value. Maybe just another red herring. So, it makes it look like it's behind this wall, but it can't get behind this wall. So, gotta find another way. 
Okay, so coming over here. Maybe I should have gone downstairs instead of upstairs. That actually makes more sense. She's a witch. She should be in a dungeon where she can cast her magics. Get okay, own son, S suppressed slave of Akron. Resist, resist, resist. No, oh, this is just bad. All these interruptions and then resists. Okay. Yeah, I think this is probably it. Downstairs. Upstairs was just a red herring. I'm not supposed to go up there. Wait my help to respawn. Gloves of Constitution. I don't think I don't even have gloves, that's great. Alright. Another slave back on. Probably should play this game as a melee. Just would have been a much easier leveling experience, but fortunately it's pretty dedicated to being this demonologist. I always want to be a demonologist. Just in the guild that I was uh, leveling with, they wanted me to be the PvP tank. So I was kind of stuck with that role. And PvP tanks are actually pretty important on launch because, like any MO, damage is out of control and all this stuff. So, yeah. Oh, the red beam's not here. He's supposed to tell you, like, oh, she's downstairs, but you're not supposed to figure that out anyway. <coughs> it is not meet you, Lady Mithrael. Uh, guards did a poor job. Okay, let me serve you another way. Sexy ways. Mm -hmm, give me a task. Esoteric ingredients. Oh, go now. All right. So yeah, I also leveled up. It's pretty freaking sweet. Unfortunately, I still don't have any of these feats things, do I? No. Do I have any general feats? No. You know, alternative events. I want to get. Whoa. Unfortunately, I still don't have any town points. Like, level. What? What am I level? Oh, yes, I. My C button does something else. Level. Oh, I'm only level 8. Well, that's why I don't have any tele points. Oh, it's another guard for me to kill. So, yeah, I'll be ending for the day right here. Tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, maybe next week, I will be doing, um... I'll be looking into more of this nighttime mode. <coughs> and I'll be doing the... <coughs> ah, sorry. The Necromancer quest line. Not Necromancer, the, uh... The hell am I? Uh, demonologist quest line. Every single class does have a qu different quest line after all. And I'll be gathering some stuff for Mithrel. So thank you for watching. Check out my website, thegameguru.me. I have lots of great stuff on there. And make sure to subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.